Alright guys, how's it going? We've got a Kubi here and this is my first Kubi fixed blade and here it is model KU302A Let's open her up and take a look Let's use the Kubi Drake and this one's an M390 awesome EDC Let's get into this thing got a nice Kydex sheath here, it's got a tech lock system on the back there, hook over your belt, it's got a lock on it. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try that out. Let's take a look at the knife. Alright, it's all sealed so let's unseal it. Yeah, look at that thing guys, pretty nice huh, I like the orange, I do like orange knives at times. Grip of the jimping on here, I love the shape of this, this is going to be great for, well it's kind of a survival knife, do anything camp knife, nice flat grind, should be super slicey. Comes to a good tip, good point there. Look at that point. Yeah, I like the way it, it raises up here. Nice looking blade, feels good in the hand. No fear of my hand slipping down the blade either. And a nice sharpening choil in there. Got a little Kubi logo here. It's Dim the light a little. See if that's any better. Nice little Kubi logo there. And of course, D2 up here, as it's D2 steel. And those screws here, they're matching the bead blast blade. Pretty nice. Yeah. First time I've ever held a, a Kubi fixed blade. But uh, they got a few to look at. There's a, I'm kind of interested in all the ones I've seen so far. So obviously it's full tang construction and the tang there is raised slightly above the G10 there. Kind of like that. I do like that. I don't think the spine here is sharp enough to spark a ferro rod. Maybe up here on the tip, maybe that is. We could try that later. We'll definitely put this knife to some good use in a little while. See what it's like at uh, splitting wood and cutting food up. Stuff like that. I like it. Really pleased with it. Let's try it in the sheath. Oh yeah. Nice positive. Yeah, I like that. That's held in. Held in really well. I ain't shaking that thing out, but it's not super tough to get out either. Just a flick of the thumb, pop, and you're out. Reverse grip. I reckon you could get some penetration with this thing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, nice. I'm. I'm liking it. Let me know what you think guys. If you have one of these, let me know how you get on with it. And let's let's go take it out and put it through a little bit of use. I like that. Nice bit of jimping on the rear here. Makes a good grip there for your thumb in the reverse grip position. Yeah, that's nice. Good size hole there for a lanyard. For you lanyard guys and that will act as a pretty nice nutcracker yeah or glass breaker pop 
yeah feels super sharp where every kubi I have has been super sharp add it to my collection here overall length is basically nine inches it's actually 8.98 inches which is 22.8 centimeters blade length 4.9 inches or 10.4 centimeters handle length 4.88 inches or 12.4 centimeters so blade thickness is basically 4 mil or 0 0.57 of an inch blade width is 1.77 of an inch or 4.5 centimeters so guys feels like a good sturdy blade I'm, I'm really digging it right now I can see this getting used quite a lot uh, let's do a size comparison to some other Kubis so there we got it against the Drake at the bottom and a Kubi Eris and a Kubi Ruckus titanium head at the top. Good size, good size to carry. I think a lot of people are going to like this one. Make a great camp knife. Awesome. So this tech lock system, it can be mounted as it is now, vertical, or you can go, just turn it around and go horizontal carry, scout carry which is maybe what I'll do with this one I do like on scout carry I like having the option yes yeah, some really nice work it feels all chamfered off you know there's no no sharp edges on the steel it just feels really good really comfortable in the hand and I, I like the look of this bead blasted D2 steel and D2 yeah, it's a, it's a favourite for many. Pretty nice. Look at the detail here. Nice big flat ground blade there. Should come in pretty useful, this one. Value for money. Pretty awesome, I think. Let's go try it out. See what it's like outside. <laughs> 